Okay, we're going to set up an ODBC connection. Uh, I'm using Windows 7 for this, but we need to set up the ODBC connection so that we can use this MySQL Workbench, which is really handy for running scripts, creating tables and database, MySQL databases, and also the modeling tools are fantastic in this. So we're going to set up an ODBC connection. We'll click the, I'm in Windows 7, we'll click the Start button. Go to Control Panel, and I think it's in Administrative Tools, but I can't remember where it is, so we'll go to the search and type ODBC, and we see it there in Administrative Tools, Setup Data Sources, ODBC. Now, we'd never want to use this User DSN tab. Go to the System DSN, because then you won't have user profile information associated with your database connections. Uh, create a name. I, I made mine gurgle underscore database. Uh, you can see it's using the MySQL ODBC 5.1 database driver. Let's take a look at that. If you, uh, if you type in uh, mysql.com website, you go to that, and then uh, there's a downloads section and here's the under new releases the connector ODBC 5.1 or 3.51 either one would be fine download that and follow the instructions and install it uh, once you've done that you'll see this option so when you add a new data source it will ask you to type in a name and then it'll ask you to select you know that MySQL ODBC you know, driver, um, and uh, just to show you my configuration, if you click configure, here's my name that I signed it, gurgle underscore database, you can type in just the description, so you remember the, the database you're pointing to, you need the IP address, and you can get that by just clicking start, typing CMD, and getting that command prompt, and uh, then you can ping the google.com server and it should bring back an IP address if you have a connection 69-175-9734 and then that's what we type in here into the TCP IP uh, address for the, the server and 3306 is the default port number for uh, MySQL database and this Gurgle one is the uh, administration account for the gurgle.com uh, site and uh, then you type in the associated password to that username you don't have to type in a database you don't even have to have a database I don't think but you can uh, click test to verify that you have a connection to the database server and you do um, and you can just click OK, and, uh, and then I'm going to be able to show you from here how we can use that ODBC connection with uh, the MySQL Workbench to start looking at and making changes to our database model.